Hello! Aha! Welcome back. We're back. Welcome back. Guess who's back? Back again. How's it going, everybody? What up? Welcome back to another Chill in the Building. Happy Saturday to you all. Hope you're having a great time. Welcome along. How the devil are you all? It's been an absolutely fantastically beautiful day here in the UK. And I've been sat out in the sun most of the day. Seeing some family. And I'm bloody knackered. <laughs> I'm knackered. <laughs> it's crazy. It takes out of you just sitting around in the sun. Wonder why the Spanish have siestas. No, I know. I didn't know before. Pretty really tiring. How's it going, everybody? Welcome along. Uh, Red Eyed Sniper, how you doing, man? Welcome along. Hey, y'all. He was the first in the chat. Good lad. Nice one, dude. Rogue. On time. Good man. Thank you very much. Welcome along. Moo Bears here as well. Solo Spirit, how you doing? Bradley Welsh. What up, dude? Laney. Hey, Laney. Owen, haven't seen you in a while. Good, sir. Welcome along. Uh, Frisky Games, Sponge I have returned. Returned. <laughs> and also Sponge. Um, Sponge is totally Sponge's new nickname. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Yeah, cheers. Uh, who else we got? Who else we got? We got uh, Polyvest. What's up, dude? Welcome along. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What is that monstrosity? Yes. Owen, how dare you? I'll show you in a minute. Uh, what correct strikes again. <laughs> Gregory T. How's it going, mate? Welcome along. Brits. Doers. Yo, yo, yo. Um, hello, Bradley. John Emmanuel as well. Mr. Bonas. Bonas Diaz, good sir. Hefty Big Will, good evening to you too. And Red Eye Sniper in with $10 super chat, dude. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Very, very kind of you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. We're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. Awesome. Love it. Evan Weeks, what's up? We best. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, Zafius, nice and raining day here in New Orleans. Well, we can't all have the sun, but uh, you know, rain is important. That's a nice looking ship. Thank you very much, Alex Wolf, and I'll give you all a tour in a, in a second. Laney, if you could please call Spange Sponge next Deep Rock Galactic Stream, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, Owen, I see you. I see you. Let's see what you're doing. Tasty, what's up, man? Welcome along. This is a mid game CV. Mid game. <laughs> ah, ah, let me clarify. Let me clarify one second. I said mid to late. Mid to late. Uh, when we first, when I first uh, started building it, it was mid to late. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, look, at the end of the day, this isn't going to be the be all and end all. It isn't the most powerful ship in the world. It isn't the most heavily armored. It isn't the most capable in any sense of the word. It is a very nice looking, um, good ship that will keep you going well into the late 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 game so there near take that take that uh we got eric stone if there's one thing i am still disappointed in is the custom scenario starlight twilight whatever it is it's still bugged out and glitchy as hell it's a shame dude get on to project eden now the ship design unintentionally inspired my own recent build in Space Engineers. I also did start something. Fair enough. I like the colour scheme. Thank you very much, Mark Marquezes. Last time, uh, last stream, I think we had a khaki green or olive drab colour scheme. I have adjusted it. I have changed it. I'm now happy with it. I think we're going to go forward with this new colour scheme. Um, Evan Weeks says, Booyah! With a tier one sub. Dude, thank you very much. Moo Bear is gifting subs like an absolute badass as well. Thank you very much, Moo Bear. Awesome stuff. You guys are on one today, and I love it. Uh, Ty Arcade as well. Thank you very much for the follow. <clears throat> it's mid-game, but empty. My end game, it looks like this. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, hefty big week. Spant, try to follow your YouTube vid on transferring a game. Mine keeps going wrong. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, bugger. <laughs> That's all I can say. Make sure you're only copying the area file over here. If you copy any more than the area file, it goes, it goes wonky. Uh, right, so yeah, you guys are all saying hello to each other now. Oh god, they're getting organised, people. They're getting organised. <laughs> uh, Robert Queen, remarkable machine span. Thank you very much. Heinz, what's up, Heinz Behrens? 
Any relation to Heinz in general? <laughs> uh, I fell into into scum, only just jumped back into Imperial Single Player Expendable because Smanja. Oh, welcome back, dude. Welcome back. Glad to have you. Uh, Laney says it's a beauty. Now I just need to paintbrush it a little pink here. Don't you dare. I will come after you. I know where you live. Ish. <laughs> we roughly live. Okay, let me give you a tour of the Leviathan, which is now aptly named as the SAS Leviathan. I have decided, after much deliberation and playing around with various acronyms and Christ knows what else, um, the faction that I want to create is a scavenger faction. So I've created the uh, Scavenger Alliance, which is a kind of... Um, uh, what do you call it? A sort of a, sh well, a bit of a sort of shambles of an alliance, really, between various factions of scavengers and salvagers and various kind of scrap merchants and stuff like that. Uh, and they're more in an alliance of convenience than trust, and they can, you know they just do it so that they don't they have certain like codes and rules, finders keepers, that sort of thing. They don't have to worry about being snuck up on by other scavengers if they find a wreck and things like that. Plus, they can also then in in numbers defend themselves against pirates and other would be rogues and outlaws and stuff. The Leviathan here is a sca is the flagship of the Scavenger Alliance. It is the their most heavily armed and armored ship. So well, there you go. It puts puts that kind of a, a sort of baseline for you for the faction um if this thing is their most heavily armored ship then that obviously means they don't have anything stupid like dreadnoughts or whatever um you know they've got one flagship the leviathan here which is a former uch heavy cruiser or something I haven't quite figured that bit out yet and they've uh, they've retrofitted it salvaged it borrowed it <laughs> much to the despair of the uch and they turned it into their own little capital ship and they've added their own modifications to it and blah 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 blah. I'll, uh, when I put this on the workshop, I'll put a nice little brief um, on the workshop page explaining the, uh, the the origins of the Leviathan and, and the, uh, the Scavengers Alliance. Uh, so that makes Scavenger Alliance ship uh, or SAS. So all these ships that I'm going to build with this color scheme are going to be SAS something. So we got the SAS Leviathan. And this is the colour scheme we've gone for, which is kind of like a greeny blue type colour. So we got rid of the drab olive. That's not actually orange, that's actually brown. But next to the blue, it kind of looks orange. So actually, if I put orange there, it's a little bit too much. But the brown actually works quite nicely, I think. The other thing I might change is actually these pipes here. They're a little bit much, but other than that, I'm reasonably happy with the texture job. Last time I think you guys saw it, I had pretty much finished the texturing on the top. So off camera, I've gone ahead and finished the texturing on the bottom here as well. And this is what it kind of looks like. So you can have a little look at that. It's pretty much much of the same as what I did on the top. So similar themes, patterns, block shapes of certain types will have the same sort of texturing going on on them. And I've also, I think I swapped the weapons around last stream actually, so I won't go through that again. But there you go. And the inside is also fully textured now. I just need to do a little bit of signal logic and then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a survival game and we're going to actually test this against some Xeraxian targets. But yeah, the engineering section is now all textured, lit up, we can go up. Well, god mode. Lots of piping. Some glowies. The engineering section is probably not somewhere you need to go. If you're running this ship, you'll probably never come back here. Unless you have like a lot of damage and you're repairing it manually for some insane reason, then you might come in here, but you'll want to turn the damn ship off before you come in here because anywhere you stand in here will be about a thousand degrees centigrade. So <laughs> Yeah, uh, just bear that in mind before you go wandering around in the engineering section. Hazard. Uh, yeah, the hangar bay has got some signal logic on it, so we've got some blinkies, we've got some uh, spotlights and stuff that come on when you're in the hangar bay. Also, you notice the doors open as well, ready for any departures. And then uh, this is all textured down there. We've got our constructors. Room in there for some small constructors if you want. Upstairs, we got a lounge area. I think we did this in the in the last stream, but that's how it looks now. 
Decent garden. Gravity generator and offline protection through that door at the end there. And if we quickly run back, head up to the upper decks, we've got our uh, medical and all the, the player sort of stuff that you need to interact with on this level. And that's right below the bridge where you've got a quick access cockpit there. You've got side cockpits there and there. Teleporter set up with a motion sensor. And that's pretty much the bridge. Nice and simple. There's room up here to put some passengers, passenger seats if you want to. And you've got quick access out the back onto an SV hangar bay on the rear deck here where I've got the, uh, the Skyminer parked. So, practically, it should be pretty useful. Quick access in and out, into space. I have tested it down on a planet as well. It has a uh, in vanilla, because we are in vanilla, this is a vanilla build, it has a considerable amount of lift. Uh, so I've configured the signals, so you've got super lift and full throttle. Now in normal operation, you can have those two turned off, and it'll perform fine, even on a planet. But if you ever need that extra bit of lift and that extra bit of power, you can turn them back on, uh, and away you go. So there's grow lights, there's a power save, there's maintenance access for the little hatches into engineering and stuff, and obviously the repair bay is set up there as well. Uh, the only thing I haven't set up yet, which I need to do, is set these pop-out sentries so that they come out when the ship has landed. I mean, it doesn't really matter very much, but it's a nice little effect. But, uh, but there we go. That is, that is the Leviathan, and that will be coming to a workshop near you very, very soon. Um, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out, actually. And I'm looking forward to getting it in-game. Hopefully I can get it into the current series. And we can see what it is like properly in-game in a survival mode. It'll be really good. We'll see how it goes. Anyway. Uh, hey, Master Chief. What's up, man? What are you build What are you making? Well, today we're going to be making a new space station. But we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it's closer to Vanilla. Vanilla even mentioned it in a mission with the new update. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, the ship looks great. One of your better builds. Gregory T. Thank you very much, sir. Hey. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name. It's all in Russian. I can't read it. <laughs> but hi. <laughs> Welcome along. Voxer, what's up, dude? Welcome along. What's the build cost? The Leviathan will set you back 43,000 titanium, 27,000 iron, and 15,000 sathium. 5,000 neo, which is actually really kind of not bad. <laughs> That's really not bad. And nearly 5,000 restroom cosium, which is quite pricey. Um, obviously, it's tier 4. So you've got the full 12 bridges and 4 metrishishishis diseases. And 10 raw pentaxid. What the hell is the 10 raw pentaxid for? Eh. Whatever the 10 raw pentaxid is for. It'll cost you 10 raw pentaxid. It's not exactly uh, difficult to get. So there we go. A lot of titanium has a teleporter. Is that the pentaxid? I only got the game yesterday. I think I have some work to do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, to get this thing in, I think I'll need to set up some auto miners on titanium iron and sathium at the very least. Uh, and then I'll obviously go off and mine the rest. Um, hopefully I can get auto miners on all of it and it'll be fine. But at the very least, you need auto miners on those, those three of the biggie boys. Uh, and then, you know... Just uh, accelerate time by going and sleeping, and those auto miners will fill up very quickly. Yeah. I feel like teleporters are pentaxed. Iron Wolf confirms. Hey, Iron Wolf. Welcome along, mate. Not the hundreds of thousands of iron and xeno I'm used to. There you go, Evan. And this is why I said this was a mid to end game ship, not an end game ship. <laughs> Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to see quickly how this thing actually handles in combat. Because I haven't tested it uh, in combat. I haven't actually tested it at all. So although I think I factored in good armor around important bits. And good turret coverage on a sort of side-ish, broadside -y basis. We don't actually know. So what I have done is I've taken the liberty of spawning in... Leviathan in an incredibly dark sector where we can't see what's going on. It's a black hole sector, so actually there's very little light here at all. But it does mean that there is definitely a high Xerox presence here. So let's go see what we can find. Let's go poke some stuff. 
see what we can see what we can find. Right. You can turn the full throttle off. It turns off half the thrusters. Basically, you can see the two big ones at the bot at the back there turn off. And yet the acceleration is still pretty damn pokey. So acceleration with those thrusters off is 62 meters a second. Considering this thing has a top speed of 100, that means you're up top speed very quickly. So why why we would use all four of those XL thrusters? Probably only when it's like fully laden with incredibly heavy stuff. Maybe you might need it. All right, what have we got here then? 13, 13k to something. Got lots of things. I know that there is a Tavura in this sector as well. So <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting. This yeah no Tavura would win. The Tavira would win. A dark video, how strange. <laughs> uh, I could put to, uh, could uh, get myself some night vision goggles, I suppose. But I don't think you would see anything, even with night vision on. It would still be pitch black. I don't have a helmet. Uh, I literally don't have a helmet, actually. <laughs> I mean, I'm in my pajamas. Remember pajamas, right? Hang on, because just down here is a very convenient armor locker. There we go. Right, I can now use night vision. It makes no bloody difference. <laughs> Everything's just green now. <laughs> it's the same. It's literally the same. Green? Oh no. Green? Oh no. <laughs> uh. How do you set up the super lift to signal logic? Oh, the super lift. Oh, it just you go round and you set what thrusters you want to be in the super lift uh, uh, signal and which ones, and you just set them to follow the super lift fit signal. That's all. You just don't set the other ones to do anything, and away you go. You flip the super lift on, and only those ones that you've set to the super lift signal will be activated. You turn the super lift signal off. And those ones will deactivate. Look at that! It's like they've got this bug I've noticed in the in 1.5, where you get thruster trails from only half your thrusters. So it looks like I'm running on one thruster at the moment. It's stupid. This ship is running away from me. I swear. They're all like bunching together so that they can support each other. Did you fill the ammo boxes, Banjo? If you remembered them, yeah, yeah, we got ammo. I got some ammo here. All shields are up. Pentaxid is full. We're at 7 million of 10 million CPU. So hopefully we'll be okay. I mean, generators are running at 0.7% capacity at the moment. Bear in mind, we've got four T2 generators in this thing. The thing is, I think what has happened with this ship is I'm so used to building for reforged <laughs> that I've put too many thrusters in, too many generators in for vanilla. Well, too many in, in a sense, kind of too many, but not really. Okay, we've got some activity. They're coming for me now. All right, here we go. Two kilometers from, what is that? That is a, I don't even know. It's not identifying. Let's see if we can get an ID on it. Emirate, Emirate class destroyer, ladies and gentlemen. Inbound. All right, we're gonna hit on the starboard side. Open fire, all weapons. Ah, well, this is the one thing I haven't done is I haven't configured my turrets. There's bound to be something I forgot to do. Please stand by. Turrets. Hit turrets only. Not interested in anything else. Just defang this damn thing. Alright, all turrets are opening up now. We've got things from behind as well. We've got laser drones and whatnot. There we go. Right. My shields are at 50%. His are at 82%. <laughs> swinging behind him at the moment he's very much got me on shields I'm so clawing him back now 24% Mine are at 13, his are at 14. I've caught him up, I've overtaken him. No, take, scratch that. Mine are about to go down. I think we're about to lose our shields at roughly the same time. 
Now it's a case of can I out fire? It's only an emirate. Now we're going to see how much damage. Oh, look at those rep things in the top right going up. How much damage are we going to take here? I think he's targeting my guns at the front quarter there, which is... Ooh. He's targeting my thrusters. Alright, let's switch him around to the other side. Guns on the left side. Your turn. How about him? Got drones that are distracting my turrets coming in. Two heavy plasma hits there. It's not quite the spectacle of the gladiator, is it? <laughs> it's got a lot of like point defense style weaponry. That's the thing. It's got a lot of gats. A lot of its fire is just gat. Which in theory, you can replace. With something maybe like missiles or whatever, then you will be limiting its capabilities in atmosphere. Obviously, so bear in mind that in atmosphere, only Gats and cannon turrets will fire. I got another space drone coming in. I think we've got this Emirate down in the bag, though. I don't think it's going to be any problem for us. It's just a case of defanging him now. Come on, guns. As always, you're almost constantly fighting with the, uh, your own turrets. Your own turrets want to hit something that you can't, you don't have line of sight on. So you've always got to constantly reposition yourself. So that whatever they're trying to shoot at, they can shoot at. So now they're trying to shoot something on the top of the hull, of course. You've got lots of maneuverability in the Leviathan here, though. Wait for my own plasma cannons to actually rip theirs up, but Ooh. Ooh, that hurt. Let's see two of those artillery rounds from that emirate. Probably slapped me in the face then. Let's get behind it. Gonna switch sides. We'll see how much damage this thing is taking. We'll uh, we'll get it to a, a Polaris station or something. They're all focusing down on something underneath there. I think.
which takes forever, doesn't it? <laughs> Again, again, again. I think they're 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 trying to shoot something underneath the, underneath the ship. I really, really wish that Elion would implement line of sight targeting. I've been saying it for years now. But they will. These turrets will quite happily just eat through the ship's entire hull just to get to whatever they got a hard on for the other side of the ship. Meanwhile, a, a turret, an enemy turret in a different location, will just shoot for days days and days and days without getting shot back it's how uh, well I mean it's how you design uh, combat ship armor so that uh, when you're facing off against something it, it eats through your hull in the lo most long-winded way possible in order to get to a turret and that's how you build combat ship armor keep the turrets occupied on something that doesn't matter basically while your turrets are free to fire back problem is it works both directions so <laughs> I think we've nearly got it we've nearly got it now my shields keep flashing up as if they're able to recharge I might have to switch to engines we're only getting I think sentry gun fire now is returning let's switch to engines turrets thrusters let's go I think we've lost a few turrets we've definitely got some damage near the front engines there the artilleries have gutted some of my sideways engines but I think mostly the fire the firing solution is intact for the most part Most turrets are still alive. Like most ships, with the Leviathan here, you'll only really want to enter into combat that you know you're going to win. <laughs> and also, keep your shields up as best you can. She's not super expensive. She looks a lot bigger than she actually is, I think. Increase its damage, but you need to aim. That would improve the mechanics of the game. Yeah. I wish it had a more like uh, fractured space style of, of combat. But basically, you control the ship with your, your WSND and stuff, and you control the turrets with your mouse. Right now, my mouse is... I'm not doing really anything with my mouse. You know, if I try and use the mouse to turn the ship, I'm constantly just picking it up and moving it across the mouse pad to do so. So I am using WSND to, to steer the ship, really. Q and E to bank it round. Boom! Big hit from the artillery there. The only thing with the Leviathan is it doesn't have a huge number of heavy hitters. It has some plasmas. And they are firing. There you go. The two plasmas just opened fire then. And again, the plasmas do a lot of damage, but they are very slow. I'm going to let the Emirate just circle me. My shields are recharging now, as it's not shooting back. I'm seeing a lot of activity in my flat cannons. Front or the belly guns there, they're not doing anything. Have I run out of flak or something? No, flak CV 87. Are they not shooting because they don't have they don't have an angle? Oh, there they go. Yeah, I think they I don't think they had an angle. In which case, let me move further away. The one thing about sort of broadside style ships like that. So you've got to make sure that the, all the guns have the right amount of gun depression and stuff.
Well, this will take about another half an hour or so. <laughs> this thing is the uh, the ship is now eating through just one side of the enemy ship. So if we uh, we turn it around. And on the other side of this Imrat. There we go, we're starting to, starting to evaporate its, uh, its engines now. I don't know what these things are shooting at. <laughs> uh... Hey, Smadge, what you suggest to make combat CV more entertaining? I mean, this thing would be dead. If we were in the Ray Tracer, it would be dead long ago, but... This isn't so much a combat ship <laughs> as it is a sort of multi-purpose ship. But we're trying to see what its limits are, really. At the moment, it can deal with an Emirate. But it will take damage. You can see, you can see the front left nacelle, the front right nacelle has even taken a lot of damage as well. Just trying to get rid of its engines right now. Damn thing keeps turning. <laughs> hey, there we go. One of the big engines is gone, I think. Yeah, there you go. Focus on the other one then, boys. It's a weird kind of... It's a weird battle. CV battles in, in Imperion. They're extremely time consuming. They consume an incredible amount of ammo. With very, very little gains. Um, we got Trump better dude. Thank you so much for the bits, man. Appreciate it. Uh... Zex Quez, dude, thanks for the sub as well. Elfin NASA as well. Thank you very much for the sub, guys. Appreciate it. Come on! Kill those damn engines already. What I should show you is the difference between this thing, right? How long this thing takes to, like, defang a ship. And then get the ray tracer out and do it in the ray tracer, right? <laughs> yeah, there is the difference. It's just between a combat ship. I think if I swapped out, um, <laughs> it goes well with my Roman coke. If I swapped out the flax for uh, missiles. It would do better. If I swapped out some of the GATs for missiles, it would do a lot better. The fact that it doesn't have any missiles. 
really hurting its DPS right now. It's just like that. You can't really see it because my face is in the way, but you, the, you, all the, the reputation ticker in the top left is just going insane. It's not got a bad firing profile, really. It's just... It's got crap, crap weapons. <laughs> I didn't want to over-arm it, though. That is the thing. It was, uh... Seems silly, doesn't it? Don't want to over-arm it. Why the hell not? Yay, I'm friendly with the Brotherhood of Fire! <laughs> nice. Those bloody large engines that it's got are just, they're indestructible, I swear. It's taking forever to take down. to a point with these bloody things where you're just like right gonna jump into an sv it's gonna be bloody quicker i think i've got it i think it is finally stopped it is finally disabled it has some sentry guns on it that is all bloody hell that took that took forever and it's just an imirat as well <laughs> all right let's have a little look around um oh that's going off oh i'm upside down Hang on then. Let's swing her back around again. Oh god, where's the bloody... There it is. Zip. There we go. Right. So Damage-wise... What are you shooting at? That's weird. Uh, yep, so ate a bit off the front. Killed a couple of the down thrusters there. Killed the uh, the gat turrets at the front there. This is all fluff anyway. That's going to get damaged. This is all fluff. Fine. This is quite a heavy arm uh, damage here though. That is. I mean that is almost into the garden. Almost. The lower section behind these uh, thrusters is where the cargo cargo boxes are. So it's eaten through. It's got one of my side thrusters there. That was the twin artilleries on the Imarat. Did that, most of that damage. So that's quite heavy. It's still got the both lower thrusters though. Taking out some of my balls. No, my balls are gone. Ah, it's just rude. I uh, wouldn't put it past the Xerax, though. Going for the balls. What a bunch of bastards. Rear of the ship is fine, by the looks of it. Very little damage up here. Um, looks like they've taken some deco off over here. There's definitely some light damage there. But yeah, rear of the ship looks good. fine 
bridge is entirely intact. Not even the fluffy bits of deco have come off there. So that's quite good. So yeah, looks like the front quarter is taking the most of the damage, which is, I suppose, to be expected. Meanwhile, the Imarat is just being swallowed whole, really. is. Yeah. That is taken... Um, that has been eaten. Eaten. Front of the ship's okay. It's a beautiful boat, the Imarat. I've got to, got to give it to Vermilion once again. Excellent job. Oh, it does have a little turret, look. My guns are trying to kill it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. The maritime. Nacelles are completely gutted. The middle of it is almost completely gutted. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I'll give it that. This distant pays off. <laughs> the Xerox really hate gardens. They really do. Needs more duct tape. Uh, Commander Stargazer. Big shout out for Commander Stargazer. Wow, dude, thank you so much. 25 euros super chat over on YouTube. He says, for the Ravenhurst entertainment. Oh, man, yeah. Dude, you are welcome. Uh, that is a fun series, i got to say. Oh, but thank you so much. The 25 euros, man. That is huge. That is huge, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Right. All right. So, definitely can't take on a Tabira. Because it can barely take on an Emirate. But it can take on an Emirate. <laughs> and that's the sort of damage you could expect. I, I would like this. It can take a beating. Its armor will look after you. Um but probably not in extended combat. Okay. Let's pop back into creative. All right. Yeah, we've only spent an hour on this, so let's see if we can move on a little bit. What I think I'll do before I put the Leviathan on the workshop is I will swap out some of its little gat turrets and stuff um, for missiles. It does have missiles, look. Two of them on each side. But say these ones on the bottom here. If I swap these out to be missiles as well, or better still, these ones in the centre here, so they're a little bit better protected. Um, and then I've got two gats on the top and two gats on the bottom there. I think that'll have a better fire profile. And then I think that'll be that'll be a bit better, wouldn't it? That'll be a bit better. Okay. So coming to a workshop very near you very soon. The Leviathan. Should we build a base? Let's build a base. Let's build a base. Okay, so what I wanted to do was build a... Starter. <laughs> space station. Kind of a bit of an oxymoron, really, because uh, you can't really start with a space station. So <laughs> it'll be a, a low-level small-ish space station and we're going to build it mostly out of hardened steel yeah titanium because you're going to be in space <laughs> you're going to have access to titanium and regular steel okay and i want this base to have um good storage moderate uh production facilities a decent garden somewhere to park a couple of ships um yeah it's fine, it's multi-purpose. It is, yeah. Start a space station. Let's make it out of Xeno steel. <laughs> yeah, we'll put plastic on the interior deco as well. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, how many quantums? <laughs> oh, man. Concrete space stations. Make it out of wood. Concrete's not a bad shout. I was like, yeah, concrete, but you're in space. But then I suppose if you're mining asteroids, you will get a lot of crushed stone. Um... Uh, Armoured concrete. Regular concrete you can upgrade, can't you? The, the thing with concrete is I don't like the textures. I don't like the textures very much. <laughs> I don't like the textures. Okay. 
Uh, so as what I like to do with these sorts of builds is start off with the biggest bit first and then build around that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the hangar bay. Um, and we're going to try and go for... I'm thinking... I'm thinking something along the lines of Elite Dangerous. The space stations from Elite Dangerous, you know? Just much, much smaller. <laughs> Like giddy biddy, like dainty. Yeah, concrete textures don't work in space, but there are there are a very limited number of textures you can use with concrete. Um, armored concrete has better textures. Michael, doesn't armored concrete have the same textures? It's a starter. Textures, really? Yes, John. I have to worry about everything. How about the real station, the International Space Station? Not big enough. Not big enough. You can barely fit like one full cargo container in that thing. Right. Okay. Uh, a block has been placed. Marvelous. All right, we're going to start with with some concrete construction, and then uh, I'll probably move to Miss Steel for some more of the detail bits, the fluffy bits, maybe the outer hull. Uh, let's get a decent sized hangar bay door here. Here we go. Actually, would you know what? Let's do. Let's do, let's do, let's do. Um, yeah, let's do one that, that big, right? And let's do it on this side. Let's do it on the side, yeah. Let's get another one. What's that? Gonna need, gonna need a measuring stick. No. Gonna need bigger hangar doors. Didn't think they were gonna be big enough. Okay. Let's go for these ones. If we're gonna go sideways, we need to go for the slightly bigger ones, don't we? stick yes that's better look at that decent very decent okay cool so we're gonna build it around the hangar bay and the hangar bay is going to be spherical <gasps> use the blast door spam spamge spamge why I mean, the blast doors, in fairness, can be, um, they're very good, because they're the new ones. Where the hell are they? There they are. New ones can be pretty much any size you want them to be. They actually added them in the correct sizes, like five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, it's five up. That's too big. If you had, say, like, maybe threes at either end. And a three there and a three there. Does that work? Last doors are heavier. <laughs> Dude, that name. Uh, an asteroid base like the pirates. I don't think you can have that as a, as a player base though. Change that. That was Alpha uh, 5, 1.5, I think, this one. This is new! This is new and shiny! Isn't it great? So you'd have huge blast doors now. It's great. So you could have those. You could have those as well as. You should have those as well as. It's like an emergency kind of lockdown. The thing is, these things are expensive, though, aren't they? I don't know. I don't think they're that expensive, but... Having this many of them 
it's gonna pile up the cost. What's that already? Um, 75 Sathium. Okay, it's not that bad. We're fine. I was expecting hundreds, but maybe that's okay. Hey, I should be using symmetry mode, right? There you go. How's that for a wall? I gotta open them all. Thanks, Stu! Well, they're all going on a signal logic circuit, aren't they? <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> it's all your faults, do. Right. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I hope this works. Well, it ain't going to be perfectly round. <laughs> that's for that's for sure. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Let's uh. Ooh, okay. Very dramatic music. Wow. Wow. Did I only go three up there? Did I? Oh yeah, I did. Oops. Okay, well that makes it slightly easier. Well, right, I think that's it. Behave yourself. Round is not what I would describe this. It is. It's a bit weird. Is that what I just going? It's a bit weird. All right. So that's three, and that's two. So yeah, it goes a bit wonky, doesn't it? All right. So can we then, in that case, maybe we need to shrink it a little bit, scoosh it. We need to scoosh it. Scoosh it a bit, because that's only two. Now, if we make this two, it makes the top like a bit funky, right? Like that. I mean, that's better than what we had, to be fair. It's much roundier <laughs> already. <laughs> Sponge! Sponge is round as oval ish. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Why not an oval shape? Thanks, Jarvis. Uh, fool and soul says hi sponge and other nice pipe madness game uh, i really like iberian i need to start a new game experiment 1.5 lots of bugs mate that ain't exclusive to experimental that's just how imperion rolls baby use the very thin stuff on the flat parts now it's a pac-man wacka 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 um so the very thin stuff i suppose yeah i could put this one Pia. But then I, I, I don't know. The problem with that is uh, I might add that later because right now I'm not sure how this thing is going to develop beyond this. Uh, so, so, so. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. 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 It's going to be old cylindrical we and stuff. So inside will be a, inside will be a box. A box. We'll have a square inside of a. This is why do I do this to myself? Oh, it's all the time. I do this every single bloody time. I have a square inside a round freaking hole. Cause, cause reasons. Cause I'm an idiot. Right. Is 
square peg, round hole. There you go. So you do it. So inside, you need it to be square because you're landing on a flat surface. Simples. Get rid of that. There's our hangar bay, right there. Boo and yar. Uh, hey Spanch, first time I watched your chill in the building live. Are you starting to a space station like the ones there is on Elite Dangerous? Dude! You said that five minutes ago. Where were you five minutes ago? You come in here. <laughs> You come in here <laughs> late. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, no, absolutely. I was thinking uh, right, right before I started building. I was like, maybe I could build something a bit like the Elite Dangerous space stations, where they've got that kind of cylindrical bit, but we smaller, and um, and yeah, then build something on the back half of it that's the that, that, that is the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Sorry, man. I'm <laughs> Alex, you're fine. I'm messing. I'm messing. Uh, that's good. Messing with you guys. You, you guys mess with me so much. So i got to get my own back somehow, right? Yeah, anyway. Um. So I need... Um, I almost... I need to make that... that circle bigger in some ways because I want to build uh, uh, an inner an inner thingy to this and then an outer thingy with a with a with some depth okay let's do the inner thingy these are the technical words that I use if you don't like these technical words nothing I could do about it I'm afraid that's your problem deals with it um Deals. Okay, maybe I. Ah, uh, there we go. This is what I'm. This is what I'm thinking of. Yes. Finally figured it out. Took me about half an hour, but I got there in the end. It's good. It's good. It's good. Right. Then we use the thinny ones, ish. The thin ishy ones. Right. Blonk. Blonk. What's going on here? Blonk. Right, okay. <clears throat> Looks a bit small for getting several ships in. It does actually, doesn't it? It actually looks a bit small to get even the buzzard in. Measuring stick! Yeah, this rate I can get two boats in here. Which is a bit limiting, really. Even for a starter space station. Get one above the other. <laughs> There's enough vertical height to get two in. More than two. Makes flying in and out a bit tricky. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to make it a little bit wider anyway, because I want to make the... Um, the outer circly bit a bit bigger than the inner circly bit so we're going to take this all off I'm going to pad it out a little bit so we're going to go out a little bit hey out a little bit The thing is, it's difficult. With the starter stuff is is the hardest, in my opinion, to do. But it's difficult to balance between size, functionality, and cost. Using the concrete is going to be a big cost saver. For sure. I need to get the size correct and the functionalities correct to even make it worthwhile to do.
A landing pad is more cost effective than a hangar. It is. You're not wrong. But I have a plan. This needs to go out even further. Still doesn't go out far enough. Bloody wangle that one out. What? One, one, two, and then I got. Eh! There we go. Being special. Yeah, and I've got that kind of like weird shaping going on, haven't I? Right, let me just, I want to see if I can do this. Um, right. is there so that is there uh, we need inner one outer one I wish I did this in steel this bit this is not not a hull. Okay, it works. Works, it works, it works. Okay, good. It's like a, a, sh a cowl, I guess. we go and then what I'll have is I'll have like a uh, little uh, approach lights and stuff coming out out of that um, if I can fit anything in between here which I can fit a little bit in between here I'll put some stuff in here as well it'll look good a bit of deco and stuff and then we'll have the the blast doors will be kind of like you know your emergency lockdown kind of oh I need some protection everything else is everything else okay let's make this hanger a bit wider then well I must keep that
There we go. Hanger is a little bit wider now. That's going to be useful. Might even be able to fit two buzzards in here now. <laughs> Not huge, but it's good. Okay. One great thing about doing a cylinder like this is you end up with a lot of space inside the walls. Which is where all my container extensions are going to go. And so then I don't have to build a box around the container extensions to protect them. They're already in a box. They're part of the hangar bay. See? Now is my plan. All along. <laughs> and now we just need to finalise our cylinder here. More blocks, please, Susan. Thank you. Lefteris, ninja sponge. I, uh, am I missing something? Because I like the sound of that. Ninja sponge. Not associated. Not associated with ninja in any way whatsoever. Um, Spange, you're like a mad scientist when a plan comes to work or, or in a build. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's alive. Uh, is this for 1.5 series playthrough? Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yes. If I can get it to the right kind of scale and stuff, it would make an excellent base for my playthrough. Okay. I'll try, I'll try. For sure. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, this is gonna be all very flat and a bit boring and stuff, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll tie it up and make it look interesting later. Right now, let's just get a basic sort of frame done. And it will look a little bit shabby to start off with. What I wanna do, like I say in this hangar, is try and get at least, I think, four, three, two, uh, 320 KSU containers in here. We can do that, I would be happy. And then if I need to go outside of this cylinder, so be it. That's fine as well. Preferably, I'll keep it in. Keep it within the cylinder. That would be sweet. Uh, and so what we're going to do next is I'm going to uh, wall that off, create a smaller little cylinder transition between this one. And then we're going to have a sort of, um, a larger sort of space block thing here that we're going to run solar panels off a I don't know left to right or top to bottom or something and then we'll have some infrastructure around that um, and that will pretty much be our space station then if I can make that um, hexagon hexagonical maybe uh, what is that it's uh, uh, octagon maybe eight sided that would look pretty cool It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun getting the dimensions right on this, I tell you. <laughs> uh, right, i got some thank yous. Uh, J-Rup doing 75. Thank you very much for 32 months. Almost three years now, Sponge. Dude, thank you. That's amazing. Uh, what a hero. Three years! You badass. You absolute badass. Uh, no Zombie Gaming. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, good sir. Uh, sorry, Dara. Thank you so much for the six months. Can't wait to see this one. Hell yeah, dude. Should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Tomic Scooty, thanks for the sub. Salty Mufiki, thanks for the sub. Very kind. Awesome stuff. Um, Feedry, enjoying every episode of the new series, by the way, Spanch. Oh, awesome, dude. So glad to hear. He's a nice tube. Thanks, John. <laughs> filthy. Uh, filthy, filthy boy. Awesome stuff. Awesome. Right. Thank yous. Thank you, thank yous. Okay. Brain, do something. Thank you, Brain. Container, container, uh, controllers. 
and extensions. All right. So let's think about this. We want. I'm going to use uh, steel in here as I want the textures. Um. Another one right there. Let's get rid of these supporting beams. Don't need them. Here will be the roof and stuff. Right, okay, so. So the hangar will come up to here. I want to give it as much room as possible, but we also need a little bit of room for, well, these container controllers, right? Um, so if we put the container controller there. And then we have to place every single one manually because Elion hates you and wants you to suffer. Elion hates us all. Can't drag these anymore. There's an exploit. 240,000. Might even be able to get more. More than four. Let's go for it. Let's get as many as we can. Three hundred twenty thousand. By how much? Let's take three out. Three twelve. Two in. I think that is three twenty. Okay. We want to add more than we need. Unnecessary. All right. Next container controller. I think it's forty. Basically forty, uh, including the controller. So was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12, 32, 38. That ain't right. That ain't 40 then, is it? 180,000. 280. What are we going to do tonight, Brain? Same thing we try every weekend. Giant Digger of the World. 3 times 12 plus 4. There you go. Maths. Battlestorm's here. Maths. What's the exploit? You could drag the uh, the extensions over multiple controllers, and so you could get multiple sets of 320 KSU containers. Um without having to place all the extensions required because if you drag the same extensions over multiple controllers they would all read as 320 in separate storage units but you wouldn't need it yeah there you go that's that's what the exploit is um which you know i feel that they could probably quite easily just code around but elion what are you gonna do <laughs> I get to do tell you, but yeah, okay. So let's put let's put this down here. I don't know how many more we need? One more. Here we go. That one's a bit wonky, but it's okay. All right, let's get another one in here. So now we have to place every single one individually. Because instead of putting like a nice little check in the code that would prevent the exploit, they just turned off the drag feature. <laughs> like seriously, come on, man. Why? Why do you hate us, Elion? Why do you hate us? Sweet. Look at this. We have so many containers controllers. It's going to be great. Uh, Alex says, have you thought of live streaming seven days to die multiplayer Ravenhurst? Yes, I've thought about it. The problem with is uh, availability. We, uh, we record on Monday evenings. That is the only time in the week that we can record. And so... Um, It then takes me pretty much all week to then edit that down 
talking like five hours, maybe more, of footage into episodes. It would be a hell of a lot easier for me to stream that. Um, but the great thing about doing episodes is editing. The amount of boring crap that I edit out <laughs> and nothing happens. Or I'm just, we're just staring collectively at our, our workbenches and stuff going, okay, so to make that, I need that. And then, okay, so that requires that. But where the hell do I get that from? I don't know. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, you know, I just all of that is cut. You don't get to see any of that because it would make you fall asleep or just stop watching entirely. <laughs> so, yeah, I have thought about live streaming it, but um, in, in, the, in pretty much in the same breath, I've said, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. So, we might, might see about live streaming a horde night. Uh, Red Eye Snipe, but dude, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars super chat. Thank you, dude. That was really kind. He says we need a solo run at that mod or darkness falls. Oh, a solo run. Oh, that's mean. That's mean. Ouchies. Ouchies. That is. Yeah. It's mean. That is. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what you want. Um, I could probably make it happen. Just thinking about this now, and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. See, because I got as far in my membrane, as far as the cylinder, and then I was imagining another sort of cylinder or, or octagonal structure on the back of that. Still going to be relatively big. Okay, no, I think I think I get, I think it'll be alright. Could be okay. Right, we got eight, eight cargo extensions in here. This is craziness. It's awesome. Uh, okay. So, let's get some fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. Fuel tanks. Capacitors. Okay. Surface of this hangar bay is going to be steel. Because I want the textures. Simple as that. Actually, let's uh, undo that in a second. Uh, Demon Zafen. Awesome, man. Thank you very much for the kind donation. Seven pound donation. Uh, love watching your build streams. Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you liked them. Enough to throw some money at me. I love that. Appreciate it, dude. That's awesome. Very, very kind. Very, very kind indeed. Uh, I've completely lost what I was doing. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens. Okay. It's fine. I do want that to taper off to the ground. Yes.
Minecraft villager noises. Ha. Huh. It kind of looks like my failed SV racer. It was a flying oval thing, lol. Well, as long as it was failed. <laughs> Hey Johnny, what's up, man? Welcome along. I love that. The, I love that somebody mentions ASC and he's instant, instantly on it. Like, I'm sorry. Whoa. What? What? What nonsense are you talking about, ASC? Who's spreading? Who's spreading lies? And propaganda? <laughs> this must be instantly addressed. Instantly addressed and resolved. There'll be no lies uh, of ASC here. No, no. Do you want kind of uh, a nice walkway at this level here? Around the hangar bay. Maybe with an elevator block up. Um, like that. Right. Starter. <laughs> I really want these things to be visible though. This is the problem. It's like I'm hiding them under the deck. Seems seems such a shame. The thing is we're building like uh like this is you end up with so much space. So much space. Uh no armor. <laughs> no armor, but it's plenty of space. We're good. Dramatic noises. Glass above the capacitors. Yeah, I was just thinking, maybe, but there's a, there's a whole block going on here. Glass would need to be... I wanted to do it in a slightly more clever way. I would like say the fuel tanks to be the same you know have a little feature I could do that with the o2 tanks i suppose i've done that before very dramatic isn't it and too dramatic oh hello cheeky you the o2 tanks and you embed them in the ceiling like that i've done this before uh with the last space station i built which is quite nice but some things between them like that and then uh you get some basic glass. The armoured is good. And just drag that along. Uh, and then we could do some like piping and stuff around it later on and put some of the vent blocks there and stuff and it will look like pretty cool. Um, with the capacitors, it's a little bit difficult with all these container extensions and stuff. Again, could put them on the ceiling, poking out like along there and then build around them. Take them out of here. Let's just fill this with concrete. A bit more armor. If we have those. Two here. We've got six capacitors. 
we can build some fluff around them. It'll make that look nice. Okay, so we got very decent amount of fuel tanks down under the under the deck there. Some O2 on top. Okay, and storage, more storage, and you can shake your stick out. Starter base. <laughs> Your job is done there, Mr. Buzzard. You can uh, you can get out. You sit over there for a bit. Thank you very much. Uh, Sponge, I'm in trouble. So my wife asked me now to do the dishes. So I then replied to her saying, can't right now, helping a friend out. She, to she told me how I'm watching YouTube. I said yes, if I was... It was not her key. Uh, here, he will not make videos anymore. She looked at me, walked away. I might be sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> I'm just going to blame you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's far. That's fine. Yeah, I can take that. No, no, I could be a bad guy. I could be a bad guy for you, bro. No worries. It's all in a day's work. It's all in a day's work. It's fine. Don't worry about it. If it's what it takes, my friend. If it's what it takes. Then uh, so be it. I will take one for the team. Hehehe. <laughs> Tell her she's absolutely right. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably wouldn't be doing this. So, you know, it's a public service, really, is what you're doing. She's going to understand that. This is an important part of civilization. In, in, in the whole, in the whole kind of thing, you know. Without people like you, my friend, what would be the point? Nothing. There wouldn't be one. You sing? Ah, dear. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> My apologies. <laughs> oh. Does that make you an anti wingman sponge? <laughs> I think so. Surely if I'm, you know, taking the fall for my fellow brethren. Sorry. <laughs> Drive through. Uh, surely if I'm taking the fall for my fellow brethren, the brethren, the, 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 the brudas, and that, then, um, you know, that makes me a better wingman, does it not? I wonder what Spanish looks like without a beard. I forgot his name. Damn it. Um, Dave Mitchell. Look him up. David Mitchell. That's what I look like without a beard. <laughs> that's what my wife tells me anyway. At least he didn't say the half. <laughs> that blade apparently looks like the half. Gobi, what's up, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Just had a little bit of a, a dry throat situation. 
Do you know when 1.5 is coming? 8th of June is its current slated release date. I see you're making your donut. Uh, making donut station. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the donut station. All are welcome here at the donut station. I had a thought and it's just gone. I had a thought, I was like, that's a really cool idea. Now it's gone. For hell, God, we married men stand with you. <laughs> hell yeah, Johnny. <laughs> MD318, dude, thank you very much for the 21 months. Uh, resub on, 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 on Twitch. Thank you very much, dude. That's awesome. He says, congrats on getting your faction in the game. Thank you very much, dude. It was a community effort. Uh, but thank you. It, it really did. It means a lot. Actually, it really means a lot. Get in that bad boy in there. Hells yeah. Uh, it's great. It's a great achievement for everybody involved, I think. All be very proud of ourselves. Everybody who worked... On, uh, on the Brotherhood Far. Should be very, very proud of themselves. I think. I think so, anyway. Building bloody hoops, loops at the moment. Trying to build freaking donut stations is hard, you know? Because of those sorts of reasons. <laughs> Need to go up one block. You are a sick man, Johnny. Yeah. Oh, no, really? you really, really bringing my chat down like that? <laughs> hey, Trendone. Don't, don't, don't encourage him. <laughs> don't encourage him. Um, oh, crikey, that was a lot of chat all of a sudden. Uh, okay, so I'm playing his Seed 1.5, and I don't have any of the Elder Tombs. Yeah, no, the POI loading is random every time. It doesn't matter. You got the same seed. The same seed will make the same uh, landscape on the planet, the same layout in the galaxy, but the, the, the POIs are generated fresh every single time. There's no way you can guarantee the same POIs will spawn every single time. It won't happen. Days, days, dude. Thank you very much. 
Wow, he gifted a bunch of subs. Like an absolute mad lad. What a gentleman. Dude, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Very much appreciated, sir. Awesome stuff. Very, very cool. Give that man a cookie, chat. Nothing to do. Nothing to Xerox. Yeah. So this is the problem I have right now. Is that I want to sort of... Um, damn it. Blend this off a little bit. But... Uh, ain't going to work, is it? It might work. No, it won't, because then look at that. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this whole outer ring thing idea I had is a terrible idea, and I need to stop it. This is what I will run the solar panels off of, I think. Instead. Johnny! <laughs> There's like a competition going on or something, is there? Do I need to, do I need to be worried? Guys, thank you very much. This is very, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna run the soda panels off of here. Then let's um, let's get steel involved. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gonna have a halfway down solar panel. Yep, there we go. Two. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Maliki kid. Damn, there's a lot of gifted subs. You guys are on one. Amazing. Dace, Johnny, Maliki. Absolute gentlemen. Thank you very much. FOMO is real. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you very much, dude. This is very, very kind of you. Look at that. Merlin. <laughs> Merlin is on a gifting spree as well. The hype train is complete. Wow, guys, thank you. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> thank you very much. Merlin, Maliki, Johnny, Dace. Guys, amazing work. Wow, so, so kind. <laughs> Didn't want to be left out as well. FOMO is real. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, thank you guys. That's awesome. Damn, what do I use my Prime sub on now? <laughs> Our Reforged Eden is coming. Probably in about a month. <laughs> wow, amazing, guys. Thank you very much. I am blushing. I am absolutely blushing. I never, never feel worthy. Never feel worthy of that sort of generosity. It's incredibly kind. I don't know what to do with it, really. <laughs> you never know. Um... Do you know what, these flat panels, solar panels are a bit boring. I might do something that... Um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I've already built it. Why am I Why am I building it again? Why am I building it again, guys? Uh, I've already built it. <laughs> why build it twice, you know? There's something to be said about building... Uh, modular space station modules, I tell you. This is what I built them for, is so that I didn't have to build them again and again and again. Like, these solar panel um, array on here, I love it. That's crazy. I built the damn thing, but it's awesome. <laughs> what is going on now? What is going on? <laughs> um, 
Well, I don't know. I can't go five seconds without you guys gifting a bunch of subs. What is going on now? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Um, so the real Bushrod dude, thank you very much for the follow. The Red Eyed Sniper, thank you very much for the bits. Again, dude, awesome. Uh, Polyphus, thank you very much for the six months uh, upgrade acquired. <laughs> nice. Uh, Red Eyed Sniper, again. 11 months, tier 1 sub, everyone Twitch. Dude, thank you very much. Says, hey, you. Uh, and Shinobi Von Sloth, dude, thank you very much for becoming a member over on YouTube. Awesome source. 293%. <laughs> the level 5 hype train is 293% complete. You guys are absolutely kicking ass. Always good to see uh, the build sponge. Thank you very much, Shinobi. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Awesome stuff. Right. Uh, let's go. I have some excellent solar panel modules pre-built, ready to be installed on this space station. You know? Why rebuild them? Oh no. What have I just done? There we go. Why rebuild them? They're already rebuilt. They're already built. They even come with their own capacitors, which I'll probably need to clear out. Because we're going to be so far over the block limit. It's going to be silly. There we go. Right, they're pink. <laughs> they're pink, guys. They're pink. <laughs> Look at that. Um, that might be over the, the solar panel limit. It's the only problem. j Rub, dude. <laughs> j Rub. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys are unstoppable. This is madness, they say. Gifted a bunch of subs, JRO76. Thank you very much, dude. Very, very kind, very generous. <laughs> 377%. Oh, man. What do I do with that? I don't even know. Just thank you all so much. Incredible. Noise indeed. Jarvis, thank you for the follow. Noise is, I think, noise sums it right up. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, do I actually want to keep those and turn them into um, CV docking? Whoops, redo. Thank you. Uh, I could turn them into CV docking modules. Actually, actually. Uh, okay. Suddenly, this starter space station is looking a little less starter. <laughs> you would have thought that would happen. Okay, well, how many solar panels have we got here? I don't think I've got too many. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve per panel. Okay. Um, yeah. We've got a limit of fifteen. <laughs> We're going to take seven off. No way, it's more than that. guys <laughs> Jarvis thank you very much for the sub as well awesome stuff <laughs> yay <laughs> there's a little emo going around little doggo doggo's in the chat you want to keep it symmetrical yeah I think I'll have to take A off this will be a vanilla build yeah trying to be There's no good way of doing that, is there? 15 is such an awkward number. I bet I have to have a 7 on each side is such an awkward number in itself. You have 6 on each side and then it would be symmetrical. But that's and then you've got 3 spare. But I could put those, maybe I could put those 3 somewhere else, integrate them somewhere else into the hull. Somehow. I don't know. I, I, I can't imagine it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, if I have 6 on each side then... We'll do that. Sucks. Sucks, but, you know. We can, we can only have 15 solar panels. There's reasons. There is absolutely no reason for it. Other than because it would be too powerful, maybe? <laughs> the only thing I can think of. That's it. Um, 
You have to take nine off, but you can put one on top of the hangar door. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's something. I'll, we'll figure out something, somewhere to put them. But there we go, we've got some pink solar arrays. Alright. Let's do this properly. Let's get some heavy glass. Damn it. Is that, um, that's not symmetrical, is it? Nope, it is not. This one is one block over from the other one. Darn. Darn it. Darn it all. Corrected now. Oh, damn it, symmetry. Uh, get there in the end. One day. There we go, okay. Okay. My eyes! <laughs> the pink will be corrected later. It's going to stay pink for a while, though. Lainey will be happy with pink. <laughs> 15 is so weird, right? Absolutely, Don. Kind of looks like that weird iron cannon ship from Homeworld. It does look a little bit like an iron cannon. GDI iron cannon ready. That'd be sweet. Okay. Now this is where it's kind of a little bit unclear in my brain about what I want to do. So um, let's think about this for a second. So I was thinking of a nice like octagon kind of box uh, out here that could build the rest of the station into farms, uh, production, role play stuff, quarters, medical. Uh, all sorts need to build into this thing. Got storage, sorted. Got fuel tank storage. O2 is all in here. Everything else will need to be nicely accessible, nice and quickly. You see, this even this is a lot of space though. But I could maybe, um, if I build this out a little bit more, I could maybe do this as nice, nice big kind of dramatic-looking atrium type thing, rather than uh, it's just hollow basically. And it's very pretty to look at, well lit and stuff like that, but not overly functional and not overly expensive. That's the main thing. So if I build this uh, connector, I suppose for another, want of another word, out two more blocks, and then we'll fill it with steel, uh, a steel inner ring, and try and make it look as grounded as possible. And then we'll see about building the main. Uh, hull of the rest of the station. You gotta come up with a way to then taper it so it looks good. Tricky build. I, I, you know, it's. I said at the beginning, it's gonna be difficult keeping the size under control and keeping it as a starter <laughs> space station. And uh, yeah, no, it really is very difficult to do. Right, steel. Um, 
Icky, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Keyboard Killer, thank you very much for the follow as well. Neverwhere767 as well. Much appreciated, guys. Welcome along. Starter. <laughs> Starter. There we go. Right. You guys understand. You understand. The Ring of Doom! Not to be confused with the Ring of Fire. That is something completely different. This is the Ring of Doom! Uh oh. New windows. Where are they? There they are. Marvellous. Okay. <laughs> Iron Balls McGinsey, curse your bones, Spanish. The Xerx have issues have issues warrants for my arrest and I have named you as the main conspirator but don't be caught as your villainy is fun ah yeah, I'll try yeah, I'll try I'll think about it I'll think about it no promises though yeah yeah <laughs> nope 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 alright we're gonna knob around with these mirror uh, windows for a bit please stand by Nobbing about. That's the technical term. Ooh, spiddly bits. Spiddly bits. Maybe, maybe not those ones. Maybe these ones. Spiddly. Look at that. Looks kind of alright. Meh. I'm getting a meh vibe from it. It's a bit meh. I don't think this one will work because, uh, yeah, the middle ones we got there. Take that out and put those in, and then these ones. No, that don't work. No. <laughs> uh, what about that? Oh, a H. Station H. Station H. There we go. I like the H. I'm going to keep the H for now. We'll think about it. Starter CPU tier four. <laughs> Hang on, what are we up to? We're up to three hundred eighty thousand, which means we're already tier three. <laughs> and that's before we've added any guns. That's before we have added any constructors, repair bays, uh, anything. Wow, we have less than one hundred twenty thousand CPU left to spend. Uh, all the container extensions is what has skyrocketed the CPU on this thing. It's the container extensions. Got 26 solar capacitors as well. They need to come out. We got we got ones in here though, um, which don't need to be in here because we got ones in the main hangar bay. So we can take these ones out. I just need to find um, something to fill the gaps with, which will be no problem. We'll um, oops, it easy. Put that back. Take that out. There we go. Okay. Let's be honest. When Spanish starts building it, 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 it just gets bigger. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Now we have over 120,000. That was easy. It's very easy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Moving on. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. It's all under control. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. Okie dokie. Um, minor issue. Uh, it's fine. We'll just put it there. There we go. Yeah, that works. We'll uh, swap you out for uh, a full, a full blocky block, please, blocky block, sir. 
What up? Yep. Railings. Oh, cheeky. Yeah, going to build some like, weird atrium thing. But the problem now is... Oh, no, that works. That works actually very well. I'm very happy with that. That worked out as a happy little accident, wasn't it? Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, what we do have is a problem with... Um... <laughs> yeah. This... <laughs> Everything's fine unless you step out that side. Because ah! <laughs> these blocks aren't the right way up. Well, they, I mean, they are. I could, I could lower them though. I could just spin them round. There'll be a step. That's the only problem. Oh, do you know what? I hate elevator blocks for this reason. They're just going to be open gonna be open and they're gonna be horrible see because I could put you could put every every glass everywhere every glass everywhere you make it but every glass so you can't go out that way that's fine but you can fall out that side or the other side or the front side or whatever side every side you can just fall off the damn thing that's why I hate ele elevator blocks, like open open ones like that. I like embedding them into the wall. So they're just a wall, and you can't go anywhere then. Just gonna have to have faith in the health and safety system, which is a joke. What a joke. Pure. Faith in the health and safety system. That's a laugh, isn't it? It's just... Uh, it's nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> it's nonsense, I say. What about a glass floor? What about that? Would that work? And then I could, I could just cover up these sides. still go out here though and have a little wander around on the wall I don't know any way to like really kind of seal it off if you know what I mean to contain the elevator the, the madness that is these elevator blocks and these just look really industrial now the way that it is done <laughs> not so much kind of um, to do something like fancy pants maybe Oh, look, a little archway. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Yay! <laughs> Yay! And everybody rejoiced. Yeah. It is a travesty. Wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> John Bender, dude, thank you very much for gifting us some to Eli there, man. Eli never buys anything, so he appreciates it too, even if he doesn't say anything. <laughs> Interesting layout. Thanks, Jarvis. Interesting. That's another way of saying shit. <laughs> it's an interesting layout, Spanch. God, this guy's lost it. He was a good builder once upon a time. He built some weird donut station. It all went down here from there. <laughs> the tensors, welcome along, dude. 
Thanks, Iowulf. <laughs> Yay, Iowulf's got my back. He's probably died, but, you know, he's got my back. He died from something. Thanks, Ironwolf. It <laughs> looks interesting. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> Spanch. That looks, um... Yeah, interesting. Interesting, yeah. Interesting layout. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, this is not Ravenhurst. When have we ever done Ravenhurst stream, dude? It's Saturday, it's chilling in the building. Build stuff. You left him to die. I know! <laughs> We're such bastards, aren't we? We left the poor bastard to die. She promptly did. I'm gonna put some pipes. Now you make me feel bad. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> My plan has worked perfectly. Excellent. I have made him feel bad. That's a big win. Uh, right. Okay. Um... Okay, well, I'm getting stuck in my own head right now because I'm, I'm like, hey, you know, let's decorate this place, but we really don't need to do that. What we do need to do is kind of figure out what the hell we're going to do uh, with the back car for this space station. All right. So I'm thinking basic dimensions slightly bigger than uh, the, uh, the, the hangar bay we got there, but certainly not nearly as long. So maybe like, um, can I drag, please? No, can I drag? Thank you. Maybe like out to there. Uh, I, that looks good actually. Those are good, good proportions, I think. Out to there, maybe. Drag. Drag it. Come on. There you go. Elion, please fix. Whatever that is, I don't even know what it is, but uh, please fix it anyway. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, octagon. Octagon is what we want. Classic, easy, simple shape that we can do a lot with. The drag tool. Well, the drag tool is fine until recently it started not being fine. It started being a dick. All right, okay, <laughs> Mark. I get you, bud. Thank you very much for the appreciation. We're we're having a great time in Ravenholm. Ravenholm, Ravenhurst. We don't go to Ravenholm. Um, the Ravenhurst is a brilliant. It's a it's a brilliant mod with incredibly frustrating logic holes and hoops to jump through. Uh, but when we achieve something, the uh, sense of achievement and an elation we get in the progress in that thing is pretty pretty unique I would say the challenge is definitely uh, well it can go either way it can certainly go either way um, damn it that's it's not even um, the challenge can be extremely frustrating it can really put you off Uh, but yeah, like I said, when you get a win, it's amazing. It is amazing. What am I doing? This is not going to be equal on all sides because it's not a perfect oval. It's an oval, not a circle. So 
bottom needs to come out more than the sides. I was going to do 45 degrees, but now I wonder if the 33 ones would be better, which I think it would be. Damn it. Razzle, dude, thank you very much for the sub, man. It's awesome. Uh, I haven't even played that mod. It's brutal to watch. And seeing you all come together with Blade while Blade gets randomly killed is tough and enjoyable enough for me. I'm worried at the moment it's a little bit boring. It takes so long to progress in that game uh, and we only get like I said earlier we only get the opportunity to record once a week I mean our days our days are like two hours two hours a day essentially so we usually get two days done a recording session I think we're we're approaching day six we'll be in day six in the next recording session so it will hit day seven at the end of it <laughs> <laughs> whether we actually get the Horde Knight in or not, I don't know. We might not get the Horde Knight in. This is so off. It's crazy how off this is. I, I can see why it's why it's off. Because I've done it in a stupid way around. to the floor in the wrong place. The whole thing needs to be sort of squashed in a bit anyway. Um, so let's just grab grab it, move it down, and then shrink it, I think. Crap. It just needs to be taller. It's because they started the floor in a stupid place. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, it's the best way of doing this. Hey Mantis, what's up man? Welcome along. They really do need to add more block shapes to fill in the gaps, yep. Uh, the interaction of the team is the enjoyable part. The mod causes all kinds of fuckery to go on. They have to overcome it. Uh, that's the good stuff. I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate that. That's, um, it's good to hear. It always, always is like when I put content out, there's always part of me that's like, this is no good, this is... Nobody's gonna like this. Why am I doing this? Blah blah blah. blah. It's, it's a constant fight and a battle that you have with yourself. Uh, it's just part of the process, really. I just kind of. Sometimes I've pulled an, I've pulled episodes. I pulled a, a death race recently. Normally quite happy putting the death races up. This particular one was just like the only the only real perspective I had was mine and my perspective was boring. It was boring as hell. Nothing happened. There's one moment in the entire death race that was interesting. So I pulled the episode. I didn't I didn't put it up. So it, it is always good to have that little fight with yourself, I think. For the sake of the quality of the content. But it's like constant little battle with yourself as to whether it's good enough or not. You know? I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but 
mind games ensue. I've always done chill in the building, and it's aptly named. And I, I don't put too much pressure on myself. <laughs> I try not to. Just trying to enjoy hanging out with you guys and building some some stuff, you know. So that's good. But inevitably, there's always going to be um, always going to be little fights with yourself. I think. Is this good enough? How could it be better? Why should people watch this? You know? Spandrew, I'm a big fan of your builds, but one thing is troubling me about this build. Please clear my brain. Why aren't the solar panels facing the other way? Wouldn't you spawn it in closer to the sun? On the other side of the planet. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. So, there's, yeah, rather than pointing up and down, the point inwards. Um. To be honest, mate. <laughs> Aesthetic. Aesthetic reasons. That's it. Uh, <laughs> when I built this solar array. I wanted something that looked a little bit more interesting than just flat uh, wall of solar panels. So I built it at that angle. And it means, it does mean, that you get one little LED notch off of top efficiency. All for the sake of looks. Because that's the sort of crap that I do. <laughs> That is, unfortunately, the sort of nonsense I pull. It's not the best way of doing it. Not by any stretch. I just want it to look a little more interesting. And then that's it. There's going to be a lot of space in this place, isn't There we go. Our octagon. Sort of. There's a bit of a problem here, isn't there? That symmetry field is not... So, crying out loud. It's not in the centre! <laughs> you son of a bean. You son of a bean! Fine. We shall do it the awkward way. No biggie. The Blade, dude, thank you very much for the sub, man. That's awesome. Tier 1 sub over on Twitch. Much appreciated, sir. Uh, I've just started playing Imperion again today. How do you use that symmetry thing? Uh, a lot of the controls for creative mode are in, if you hit N on the keyboard there. And then 
uh, tick symmetry, and then you want to select a pain of symmetry. I generally go with YZ. Um, and then, uh, well, it'll appear, it'll appear like this when you're doing it on, so you click YZ, and then you need to click somewhere on where you want the, the where you want the pain to be. So try and get it in the middle, like that. And away you go. Symmetry. Uh, don't trust it though. It's it's a bloody nightmare. More often than not, it just uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> it just causes problems. Uh, it's it, don't get me wrong. It's it's useful, but you need to know its limits if you know what I mean. You need to know um, that it is not trustworthy. It is not without fault and it will probably do something stupid at some point. As long as you know that, uh, you can account for it. Always double check its work. Symmetry will screw you over at some point. Some point in all of our lives. <laughs> Symmetry screws you over. <laughs> Uh, will it be named the Hubble Space Station? <laughs> it does look a little hubbly, doesn't it? This looks awfully large for a Starta station. I know, right? Starta! It's already tier 3, we know that. We haven't even added any constructors in yet. Jesus, the block count. Uh, we've almost got less than 100,000 to spend on bloody... Constructors bearing in mind are 20,000 each. So? Uh, yeah. What I might have to do is just fill this thing out like a tier 4 station and then just strip it back uh, to tier 3. Will be tier 4, don't lie to us. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we make it tier 4, but we then we strip it back at the end before we save this to make it tier 3 and then you upgrade as you go. That's what we'll do. So we'll have everything in this thing. Shields, guns, some guns, not many. Um... Constructors, storage for days. So all those container extensions that I put in that's eating all my CPU at the moment, I'll replace all of them with just trust blocks or something. Um, or trust blocks around it. Or some way of highlighting that space as, as container extension space. Uh, and then take them out until you can get tier 4 extensions. And away you go. And we'll have a tier four. Sorry, tier three. Starter! Space station. I should trademark that, shouldn't I? Starter. <laughs> Starter, TM. That's going to be an interesting join, isn't it? What can we do there? Oh, we can do... We can do it! We can't do it. There's no way to do it. Oh, no. We can't do it anymore. That is, that is just, <laughs> that is it's just terrible. Ah. Okay. And we'll just do this. Oh, concrete, please. We'll do it that way. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't hey, worry about it. Fine and dandy it'll be. Lovely. It's 
So seeing this is a starter, uh, with or without Zascozi Morez, I'll try it without. Try and get it without. But um, yeah, I'll just put the, the the gats and cannon on it. I won't put any like crazy weapons on this thing. Gats and cannon only. And um, like I said, I'll put the shield and stuff in it. But then we'll, before we save it, we'll take it out and just leave the space. Leave the space for it. It'll be fine. It will be grand, in fact. be grand it'll be fine it'll be lovely wonderful okay need a measuring stick in the form of large stuff we need large constructors and uh, shield generators let's see shield generator I'm very tempted to like obviously put that on the ceiling somewhere because we've got symmetry between blocks. <laughs> okay. Bit of armor. Lovely. So let's think about this. We've got a we've got a floor here. And then Two block spacing, another floor, two blocks, another floor, two blocks, and something in between. Right, okay. So, well, that is three blocks high. So, we can get rid of that last floor and call this one the engineering deck, or whatever you want to call it, where the shield goes. Basically, we'll have the shield on like one side there. Then uh, we can have something on the other side. I'll figure it out. And um, constructors can go on the same floor that you enter in so that you've got nice quick access from the hangar bay to your production facilities. Actually, there's plenty of space here, isn't there? And then we can have, we can have um, gardens. Do wooden grow plots. There you go, on that floor. Or even on the one below it, to be fair. We have medical below, gardens above, production in the middle. And then at the top is everything else. Cores, core extensions, shields. Uh, gravity generator will shove somewhere in there. Grav generator is a pain in the ass. Pain in a tuchus. Gravity, 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 all the way up to here, and all the way up to here. So that one gravity generator is an absolute trooper. That is gravity all the way around. Lovely. Okay. That worked out well. <laughs> Ammo containers. Ammo containers. Ammo containers are one of those things as well that will be probably just the, the green ones to start off with. And then I'll leave lots of space behind them to fill with uh, extensions. Okay. So that takes us obviously way over. Wait, what? That takes us to 469,000. We're still within 500,000, even with a shield generator. We've got a lot of large constructors, but they can be upgraded whenever you can upgrade them. Well, 
four constructors. 529,000. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because there's 20,000 each. So I was thinking, like, at some point, they're going to be like, nah. Nah. You're over. Okay, fine. There we go. All right, we'll spread those out a little bit. Uh, a bit of space between them. And we need some elevators again, going all the way through. But because this is super awkward space station and it's not symmetrical. Symmetrical! Actually, let's have some fun here. Let's not do elevators. Let's do a grand staircase. Yes! Shall make life difficult for myself. This is what I do. I mean, with ludicrous ideas that are really difficult to implement in a nice, satisfying way. Like a grand staircase. <laughs> Why not? It should be grand and glorious. People will, will weep at its beauty and magnificence. Or something. Okay. That is no, I've bugged it already. Yeah, no, I've bugged it, bugged it, mate, bugged it. No, no, bugged it. Damn it. Ah, uh, nah. No, bugged it. Okay. <laughs> So the thing is, these only go up one block, and I need them to go up two blocks. If I put that there, but if I put that there, and then put another one next to it, right? <laughs> it crosses over. <laughs> so I need to put that uh, stair here, like this, right? Which kind of then, what? I need to put uh, a block there. So that's the thing, do I go up do I go up two there? Um or two there. Grr Make things way too complicated. Why of course, says Spanch. Yeah. I uh, really wish this game had a better tutorial system. I had a stroke a few years back, and since then I don't do well reading a lot of text or thinking too much. Uh second is why I stopped playing the first time. That sucks, dude. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, one day, I mean, I hope, I'd hope that they would get some voice actors in to to do do it properly, because um, I think that would be that would be a very very good move on their part. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know whether that's. I don't know when that that is possibly going to happen. Honestly, even if it will, you know, because um, I mean, voice actors they're not not necessarily that cheap. It's quite an expensive thing to to do for any game development company, really. But it's totally worth it, man. It is totally worth it. So I hope they do. It would be amazing. But yeah, we can only hope. It can be very expensive. It adds up fast. Yeah. Trendane here knows. Because he is one. <laughs> it's a very talented voice actor as well so if anybody knows um, in fact I, you know I don't know if you mind me saying this trending but it's already submitted a sample to Elyon of his talent to which he heard nothing <laughs> Because they're bastards. 
And they hate us all. They want us to suffer. Uh, Chester Shotgun, dude, thank you very much for the $25 super chat. That's incredible, dude. Thank you very much. Wow. Don't know what I did to deserve that. Um, but let me know, and I'll do more of it. <laughs> thank you, sir. Very, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh... <laughs> What about Spanish voice acting? We could use... <laughs> or, oh my god, help me, in EGS. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be... I, I wouldn't mind. I. The thing is that there's, there's a big difference. Like, I can obviously throw some phrases around and even uh, read, a, read off a script. Um, but what, what professional voice actors do is that they then actually uh, tweak the, the audio itself. So not only do they read off a script, actually do the lines, they will then actually make the audio clip, edit that, and refine it and make it sound awesome. You know, because I could, you know, it's, you'd think that oh, I'm just talking into a microphone; it's really easy. Or you put on a funny voice; it's really easy. But actually, then to take that audio, take it into Audacity or, or whatever it is they're using. And then, like, get rid of echo or enhance certain parts or make it deeper, make it louder, make it, uh, like, interference or anything like that. Like, that's the level. That's the level they go to. I can't do that. <laughs> I might be able to learn it, but that's not my job at the moment, you know? Um, so they would have to do that if they wanted to say make my voice sound like it's in I don't know a ship or something like that and there's like some hum going on behind it or or maybe whatever there you go Trendane Audacity Reaper Adobe Edition Pro Tools there are a lot of options there you go the man knows his stuff I say exuberantly I have what well, I'm so freaking what <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> See, that's really low. What? 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 That that would be really low as well if I did that. But if I do that, if I do that there. It's not so low. How did I get it? Right. Okay. So like that. Like that. But then that is okay. Like that. Yerp, 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 yerp. I understand. I understand. That's really high. And then that's really narrow. Uh, because... Because that's only gone down... Oh, I see. Yep, I see what I've done. Okay. I see what I've done now. The downstair starts there. Comes around. Ooh, hello, cheeky. Comes around. And then that one then goes down twice. And that's how you get it. There we go. That's more uniform now. Hey, Spanch, given the size of the staircase and spacing, if you center it at platforms um, at platforms still sideways it should work better given aesthetics mm. Mm. is that what I've just done Spanges IDA <laughs> just getting a professional voice prompt for a phone system made up can take quite a bit of back and forth as the client can ask for adjustments to the tone and way you say something Battle Storm Titan, man of experience right there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not it's not a uh, it's not a quick and easy thing to do. Adding adding voice to anything. You'd think it would be. But no. As always, these bloody overpaid voice actors just drag it out. <laughs> Make it more complicated. <laughs> no, it's usually the client, in fairness. 
It's 100% usually the client. I just wanted to give Trendane a bit of shit there. Don't worry. It's what I do. It's what I do. Look at that. It's coming along this little staircase. <laughs> Lady says Laura Bailey is doing IDA. What? I need a fourth Tesla. <laughs> nice. What did I miss? What did you miss? What are you talking about? I wonder if Elyon could ever afford voice actors of that calibre. Probably not. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised, ladies and gents, if we see some DLC coming out of Elyon in the next year or so. Just a hunch. Just a hunch. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Crouch. <laughs> Crouch DLC. <laughs> Oh no! Please, please say it isn't so. Please say it isn't so! <laughs> Blocks with 1x3 and 1x4 slopes. Yes. Yeah. That, that sort of shenanigans. You got it. DLC would imply finished game. Is Space Engineers finished? Let's have that debate. Creepy music. Why have I? Shush. No game is ever finished. Yeah. We can do a voice pack. The core of SE is finished. Mmm. The Crouch DLC, now it's yours for only $24.99. <laughs> Crouch DLC. Don't give them ideas, man. It'll, they'll make it happen. Hummel, if you're watching this, don't you dare. <laughs> I know you. Oh, well, you said it on a Spanish stream. Let's make it happen. Ni 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 ni. I will come to your house. I don't know how I would do that, <laughs> but I'm, th I'm threatening to somehow. I don't know really. Uh, anyway, before we get a lawsuit, let's move on. Uh, that was a joke. You can crouch in space engineers. How does that work out for you? Like, the thing with the, the the thing with crouch is, it needs to be useful. Yeah, there you go. I am also good. You got it. <laughs> Literally two inches. Oh, I'm crouched. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, Shinobi. Dude, thank you very much for the, the 70 Zars. Um, that's awesome, dude. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. It says, all I want to say is keep up the good content. You are enjoyable to watch and the entertainment is pleasing. Keep killing the Xerax scum. You got it. You got it, dude. Thank you very much for the very kind donation. Really appreciate that. Super chat over on YouTube. 
uh, Shinobi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very kind. Awesome. Okay. I will keep killing the Xerax scum. Don't you worry. It'll happen. see what we can do with these now And H. <laughs> Get another, uh, another H. Uh, Xerox don't need to shoot around corners. They just shoot through floors and walls. Is very true. They can do that. Um, uh, BT, BT, tr BT Tracker. Dude, thank you very much for the sub over on Twitch. That's really appreciated, dude. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, I have to go to church in the morning. I usually am. One, two, three. That helps the priest. Good night. Letteris, take it easy, dude. Thanks for popping in, man. Appreciate it. Enjoy church. <laughs> Gerald's brother, Harold. Fluffy Bunny! Thank you very much for the $5. Very kind. Says, let's give NPCs flamethrowers, but because Spange wants it, we'll also give NPCs crouch. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That is, that is, I mean, it's still, you, even now, it still burns, it still burns inside, you know, the betrayal, given, I've given Elion so much, they can't even give me crouch, man, they can't even give me crouch. Come on. Why is that around the wrong way? Damn it. I just want everyone to be the right way. No. All right, fine. Well, it's going to have to be flat on the outside then, I guess. I, I, they didn't even give me crouch, man. Um, yeah. It still hurts. It's pain. It's pain. Uh, but uh, yeah, Fluffy Bunny, thank you very much. The five dollars. <laughs> very kind of you very very kind indeed thank you in the next update Xerax will now be able to call in airstrikes shut up no they won't they already do anyway they're the bomber drones uh, managed to do sick news all day because my head keeps frying but just finished my first start at SV 5817 out of 6k CPU. Nice! Very good. Very tidy. Very tidy indeed. Very good. Not bad at all. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> A bit more dry, dry, dry throat going on. Eh? Right. Let's see if we can do the same thing. 
think we can. Yep. the basic outer hull of our space station. Move that over, I think. Let's stick it there for now. Okay. Now obviously I've got a lot of a uh, lot of work to do in order to kind of tie it up, decorate it. Make it look naz. Make it look sexy. Make it look pink. Pink and beautiful. And this hangar bay. I'll work that over as well. So what I'll do. Sorry, my nose keeps running. Happens when I'm talking. It's very annoying. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll grab these uh, little docking ports. I build these for reforged Eden. But they're just blocks. So they will work over here as well. We'll have some CV soft docks. There we go. It looks like an ion cannon. <laughs> pink is your colour, Spanch. You should have left your CV pink. <laughs> A lot of you did request the CV stays pink. I didn't realise you were all so um, keen on the colour. You know? You loved it. You wanted more of it. Look at all the space we have. Look at all the space we have in here. This is all space that we could have like uh, extra container extensions put into. All this down here, I'm going to have medical down here. I'll probably put like um, some crew quarters, some RP stuff. And then we've got our garden up here. Lots of grow plots. We'll put some fridges and stuff. And then up again, where we won't really need to go very often, we'll, be, we'll have some generators up here fuel tanks and stuff uh, CPU, all the CPU stuff will be up here we'll wall it off, I'll wall it off so it's nice and safe um, yeah because I've I've moved the um, generator now so the shield absolutely just wall that off keep it nice and safe, nice and secret So the next task is to really flesh out the inside a bit. Uh, I might focus on the exterior first though. I don't know, we've got, we've got a very boring looking cylinder. We need to do something with that. I haven't put the pentaxid tank in yet. Furnaces. Furnaces are an interesting call. Um, tricky one. But 
there's space back here. You could definitely utilize the space back here for furnaces, maybe. I would need to... We'd need a... Uh, what is it? 3x3, three three, isn't it? So I could wall that off there. And have, say, 3x3 three three space back here for a furnace. On either side, maybe. It's doable. Definitely doable. Yeah, the T4 version. And we just leave the space there. Like, so... Yeah. The CPU up here... Um, I might move this gravity generator so it's in the middle here. So, uh, we put this here because we're actually very rarely we've actually got a 2x2 two two space but I'll put the CPU extensions here so that it will be tier 3 on the workshop and then um, you can upgrade it to tier 4 um, nice and easily so 1, 2, 3, 4 there's 4 slots right there so you could put them vertically stacked so if I put the tier 3 ones here and the, the core and the tier 1 there, mark that all out, get your tier 4s when you get your tier 4s. Then you can start adding things like furnaces in pre-set pre, pre uh, set spaces that will be labelled. Then you can start adding in more container extensions in here and building that up. I'll put turret hard points out on some maybe like floating turret hard points out here so that you can add flat cannons, missile launchers, or whatever for defenses. But honestly, with space bases, I generally find they need very little protection in single player because as long as you build away from any patrol routes, they don't come anywhere near you. Uh, as long as you've cleared the sector of drones and stuff like that, you, need, you don't need many defenses at all. Uh, and if you do, you might be better off with um, a purpose-built defense satellite and just pop a couple of those around that's what I did in the last Reforged Eden let's play I plan to have four of them I only ever put two up because nothing uh, nothing attacks the base in space there are no base attacks yet so uh, yeah limited defenses I think would be fine uh, we'll put a repair bay that's another thing as well I'll probably have a little repair bay maybe on the top here. Nice flat space. Or maybe we put it on the, on the top of the front here. Um, yeah. Yeah, got a lot of... We're going to make it look awesome. It'll be fine. We'll make it look awesome. It looks, uh, looks like a bag of crap right now. But... <laughs> Yeah, it will get better. It will get better. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we'll put things like armor lockers, O2 stations, and things like that in the hangar bay, so we've got quick access to them. And then, in theory, it should be straight through here, straight through here, and you're into production. Up and down, medical or farm. Nice quick access. You shouldn't need to go up to these gantries and stuff. But if you want to role play a little bit, you can dock CVs on the ends here. Which is great. We'll set up a teleporter space as well, so you can teleport straight into this little atrium. Maybe we'll have a teleporter set up on the top here somewhere. Yeah, it'll be good. Hey, it'll be good. When have I ever let you down? When have I ever let you down? Apart from those few times where I've let you down. Ignore those. They don't matter. It's fine. <laughs> this will be a good little base. Uh, right, so cost so far with the concrete that we've got at the moment uh, 3,509 concrete blocks that's 7,000 stone dust 5,000 iron so far and mediocre sort of amounts of everything else 32 resin and 36 grow plots here's a question as well do we replace our grow plots with truss blocks and let you put your own grow plots in that's often sometimes a good one but yeah 7,000 stone dust. That's probably going to be the most. That's gonna, probably going to be it. Because um, a lot of what I'm going to add now will be either steel or plastic. So I think that's probably safe to say that that's the concrete. 
And when it comes to texturing this stuff, probably base coat is, is going to be like uh, the carpet texture here with a with a sort of a base grey or something like that, and we'll we'll uh, texture off of that. So it doesn't look like concrete. It will look like either asphalt or steel, because you have got some steel textures. Concrete, you got these two rows here. Not a lot. It's not a great deal, but um, I should hopefully have a bit of steel going around this thing uh, in places so that we can we can texture it quite nicely, or a bit of plastic rather. Plastic, so it looks nice. But yeah, I think it's a good start. It's a good start. I think. I hope you guys agree. <laughs> um, there's a Skosian problem here. Yeah. Well, we'll take I'll take the shield out before I publish it anyway, so that that will be gone. So, when can I have this space space to run it through my present playthrough? <laughs> it's probably going to be a couple of weeks. There needs to be one grow plot in this game. I agree, Yiki. I really do. And it should be carbon substrate. It should be a carbon substrate grow plot and it should be interchangeable to everything. Reality Bites, what's up, man? Oh my god, I just discovered this epic game! <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> what's with all the caps? Uh, Luke's great expansion demand. Oh, uh, B.S. Smith. Uh, B. Smith, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, dude. Maybe adding half a block hatch for the crouching DLC. <laughs> we should do it at a crouch assault course. <laughs> uh, gonna rip the caps lock off this keyboard. You'll only then need to replace it. It was amazing to watch you build the station. Well, thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. I cheated a little bit. It's mostly just cylinders, but yeah, I appreciate that. We'll get, um, like I said, we'll get it we'll, we'll, next next stream. We'll get it um, tarted up a little bit more, so it's not so plain and flat and boring. But the the good news is the base, uh, the outer hull, the basic shape is done. We know what space we have to work with now. Uh, now it's just a case of filling it and stuff. So. The hardest thing I'm going to have is the back of the station. I mean, I've already put some nice glass stuff there, but yeah, there's not a lot going on, and, you know, that's going to be uh, a tricky one to figure out. Do also have three more solar panels that need to go somewhere as well, so <laughs> try and figure that one out as well. We'll figure something out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine! It'll be fine. 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 Maybe we could put a solar panel like here and on the other side. That's one. That's two. And then we put. Oh, damn you. Damn you, game! Damn you all! Well, at least I can get up to 14. 14 out of 15 is pretty good. But yeah, we'll figure it out. We will so figure it out. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a stream. I got to run. You had an event over on the servers. Uh, hopefully, if people turn up this week. <laughs> Anybody's going to turn up? Has anybody turned up? Two people have turned up. Awesome. Uh, that might not happen then. Uh, <laughs> well, i got to go anyway. Who knows? Thank you very much for joining me today, uh, tonight, guys. And thank you so much for being so generous. Um, I mean, I know you've always been a generous bunch. Um, but you've blown me away once again. Absolutely incredible effort. Thank you very much. Um, MJ Spellman, dude, thanks for becoming a member as well. Brendan Tansky as well. Thank you very much for both becoming a member over on YouTube. Really appreciate that. Um, Lee Lodum, thanks for the sub. And Tulani, Tul Toluni, sorry, I suck. Thank you very much for the sub as well. <laughs> Jim Fingers. Uh, big shout out to Fluffy Bunny. Uh, Shinobi as well. Chester Shotgun. Uh, JRUP76, the red eyed sniper as always, Merlin of Chaos, Malachi Kid, Johnny J. Appleseed, Dace 1987, uh, and uh, Demon Zafan. 
thank you so much you guys commander stargazer as well big shout out to manage uh, stargazer trombender as well thank you big shout out to all of you guys thank you so much for all your generosity i really appreciate it thank you everybody for joining me today i hope you enjoyed the stream i always enjoy hanging out with you guys much appreciated and hopefully i will see you next week where we will continue this bad boy i might do a little bit of shenanigans off camera just to speed things up but uh i'll try to resist <laughs> I'll see you during the week for some more seven days, some more Imperion. Don't forget, Imperion is scheduled to come out. Uh, 1.8, 1.8, brilliant. Just traveling into the future. 1.5 is coming out of Experimental. is scheduled for Tuesday, uh, the 8th of June. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Could come at any time. Uh, it's probably going to get delayed. All right. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And until next time. Good night. Bye-bye.